Determination of color in water sample. Hello guys, today we are going to learn about the measurement of color in the water. So when we uh, discuss about the water, so it's relevant to every day members of the public. So there are three main categories that really comes to our, our mind, the tap water and the water that is waste okay and the bottled water also uh, there is a category that had its own treatment process and then also we have quality testing so uh, normally uh, the appearance of water that uh, matters a lot okay so it tells you about the quality of the products when it comes to the water and also the drinking water it should be really very clear and it sh should not have any uh, visible color or they should not be any cloudiness or, or bubbles okay now what are the color measurement scale so commonly used color uh, scales for water quality measurements are APHA ADMI and Gardner color scales and the APHA basically stand for the American Public Health Association and this color scale is also known as platinum cobalt color scale or has in color scale okay so basically today we are going to use the uh, color standard that is platinum cobalt and which has the the unit from any you know, the, the the maximum limit is the 500 so normally it ranges from very clean yeah, is it zero and to the 500 which means distorted waste water and the the other color units are as i told you this is hazen so and hazen the limit lies from zero to 1500 so if this in this case the range is often goes above 500 units okay now we will be basically using the ADMI okay method in the spectrophotometer before going to that we have to scan the, the standard that we have to know the wavelength to have an idea about the wavelength so guys today for the color analysis in the water okay so we'll be following the the UV visible method okay and we have to use the UV visible already we had I had prepared a lot of videos in my channel so you can keep watching them and also keep watching the whole video till the end so that you understand how color is measured in the water sample okay so what we have here first the uh, we have a color standard so this is the color standard which you can see here right now this is the the unit normally color is measured in lot of units it's measured in hazen hazen units so here you can see the unit is platinum cobalt units so in short form it's called ptc u or co okay and you can see the uh, these the the limit is 500 so what we have to do first of all we have to scan this color okay so the wavelength uh, which lies here okay as uh, as per the literature or as per my uh, any research it's like lying between the 400 to 500 nanometers so what i will do first of all we have to zero it okay so i'll use the the diff, this is the uh, glass cubit not the quartz one okay so we'll use the glass cubits here okay and, the, and this is a deionized water it's a blank sample it is acting as a blank or a reference sample so now we would say zero we have transferred this colored uh, standard into this vial so you can see here we have to check the maximum wavelength okay so this is the absorbance here is 1.0 1.102 and the wavelength is around 400 so guys for finding out the color what we have to do we have to go to the store programs we already checked the wavelength it was around the wavelength light between 400 to 500 okay so now we have a lot of program for color so you can see the color 455 nanometers 465 nanometers and the this one so we have to choose the color admi one inch okay so we'll start and then we would add the uh, the cubit the glass cubit and then we will say zero so first of all we have to zero it and then we would add the the colored solution which is having 500 ppm of pt platinum cobalt you see i have added this okay 
now i will close the the door and then say read you can see the value is it shows 486 okay now we will try to dilute this and then we will check the the concentration for the diluted sample as well as we will check the concentration of tap water i mean like the color for tap water and the color for the uh, other samples okay so now you can see already i have diluted the uh, the colored standard to two and three times I'm going to transfer the two times diluted sample and then we will check the color so you can see the value is almost half value for the three times diluted color standard so which, which is almost one third now this is my tap water sample for which i'm going to find out the color so the color color value for the tap water is one so which is almost you can say this is almost colorless it doesn't have a color